today's praise in peril devotional thought is even or faintest cry and it shall come to pass that before they call i will answer and while they are yet speaking i will hear this devotional is based on isaiah 65 verse 24. One of the hardest hit sectors of our country has been agriculture. Farmers have had to stay home away from their farms due to their age and illnesses. With the closure of large buyer organizations such as hotels, farmers have had to scale back on their production. Many fear the food scarcity, while others scampered to available supermarkets for what was left on shelves in the lockdown. For many believers, they look on with amazement on how we will make it when the real time of trouble is upon us. We have been admonished numerous times in the spirit of prophecy that we must seek to be self-sufficient. With this view in mind, my husband and I decided that we would start our own vegetable garden. At the start of the crisis, I became afraid that there would be food riots and even our produce would be taken from us. Nevertheless, we forged ahead and began what became a beautiful garden. We planted cabbage, broccoli, Irish potato, cucumber, tomato, spinach, callaloo, long bean, string bean, sweet pepper, and veggie goodies. One of the most exciting events of this journey happened one afternoon after 5 p.m. While I watered the crops, it was about my fourth trip to the back of the yard to get my small watering can filled, leaning against the kitchen window and thought to myself, if only there was a pipe in the yard. In that instance, I felt so tired, but I continued to press on with my watering. Moments later, I noticed my landlord coming around the side of the house, all excited about the produces. Immediately, he said to me, I am going to put a pipe right under the kitchen window so you can so you don't have to make so many trips with the water in can. All I could say was thank you as I rushed to tell my husband what had happened. I was praising God that he hears our faintest desire. It was in that experience that I was reminded that my heavenly father hears the words I do speak out aloud. Words cannot express how close I was drawn to my father when he answered my prayer instantly. It wasn't the instant answer that excited me, but the mere fact that he heard me from that moment on. I have learned to trust him because he hears everything and nothing escapes him. Oh, of course, the garden was a beauty. Many persons benefited and are still benefiting greatly. This was your praising peril devotional thought written by Shana K. Williams from the Seventh-day Adventist Church at Claremont and I am Omika Thompson.